good leader, a strong leader, is someone who recognises what they can do personally and accepts what they can't do and then looks at that. My analogy is of a ship and I think you've got leadership. You could be the person steering, you could be the one directing where people go, but you can't do it on your own. And in schools you absolutely cannot do it on your own. You can't do all of those hundreds of jobs that you have to do on a daily or weekly basis on your own. You have to trust your team. In my first 18 months, I've probably been on the phone to some of my friends, the other heads in my network, just to say, help. And that's okay. That's fine. I think that's really important. I can imagine myself, even in 10 years' time, if I'm still head teacher, still making those connections. And that's the acceptance. We can't do everything. We don't know everything. So ask for help. I've got a couple of friends who are head teachers. One of them was also my mentor as a new head teacher. And he said, if you can, only handle a piece of paper once. And I think that's amazing. I I've yet to do it. But if you get a piece of paper, deal with it there and then, and then file it or get rid of it. I could work every night. I think every head teacher in the country could do, and probably most do. But I, I work hard at not doing that. I almost felt guilty. It's that strange feeling that, that teachers and head teachers will feel guilty if they don't work. And so it got to that point where I thought, I'm not it. But now, and it's taken me a long time, I, I don't work in the evenings, and I really don't work much at the weekend. I work longer hours. So I'm at school, I'm in the school building for longer, but I don't take my laptop home. And I think that's a really, really important tip. If you don't want to work at home, make it hard for yourself. But now I've reclaimed those evenings and that weekend back for myself. And it meant that I could spend time with the children and my wife and come downstairs and watch a bit of sport or go out on my bike. And that's something that really helps me, uh, able to switch off. So we're here at Woolerton Hall which is about 10 minutes walk from our home. And there are moments of absolute bedlam busyness, but if you time it right, there are moments of absolute calm and stillness. And you can walk around that lake and you see nobody and it's just peaceful. We have a strap line at our school and it's irresistible learning. And that's where I want our children to be. You know, they just love it. They can't wait to get to school. Yeah, they, have, they, they want the holidays, of course they do. They love it when it's Friday. But the idea of getting them to be hooked into learning is amazing. I think for me, the thing that's, that I enjoy about working with children, I have fun with them. I have a really good relationship with them. And I'd like to think that all of the children and parents that I've worked with in the last almost 20 odd years would say the same. They would say, oh, we remember being in Mr. Wardham's class. Everything has got to be around the children. They are the reason that you are there. And that's how I know it's the right role for me. Thank you.